if you want to know how to make a settings GUI for a game so low end devices will have uh, less lag or something like that, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Have you ever wondered on how to make a settings GUI for games? So if you like, if you have like some cool graphics that will slow down certain PCs, like low end devices, and you want to uh, make an option so you can disable that, well, I'm here for you. This tutorial is all about that. We're going to be making a settings GUI in this tutorial, and welcome to my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that right now because you will be an epic apogified gamer. And if you're epic, then epic. Indeed. Um, if you want to become a member, make sure to uh, click the blue join button down below. Ask for parents' advice. I will not refund any payments you send to me. So um, watch out of what you do. Don't steal your mom's credit card. So what we're going to be doing is in this video, we're not going to be using any remote event. Because remote events will um, redirect to the server. And the server is visible for everyone. So if you change something in there... Uh, it will be visible to everyone, but you want it only for you because you're gonna disable certain graphic settings. So I'm just gonna customize my game a little bit. So I want a hmm, bloom effect. I do not even know what it does. That's the entire problem. What does it do? Something with the sun. Yep. Let's do this. What does it do? Well, looks cool. We're gonna get a blurry effect. And make it like 10, so it's a little bit blurry. You would be visible to it. And I'm just gonna get a hmm, color correction, why not? Just gonna make it a bit darkish, because. Okay, so this is your little uh, lightning thing. So now we're gonna be making a GUI. I'm gonna make a, a screen GUI. I'm gonna name it Settings GUI. Then let's do a frame, along with a UI corner. And I'm going to make this gray, because settings is a bit like a grayish color. Um, I'm going to do a text button. I'm going to name it Activator. I'm going to put a UI corner in it. I'm going to get the hmm, Activator. I'm going to set the anchor point, 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5. I'm going to set the position, 0. Um, let's do 2, comma 0, comma 0. 0.8, comma 0. Now we can keep it over there. I'm going to do a size 50 by 50, so it's like a little squarish, and I'm actually going to put it on 1 and 9. So this is going to be our settings button. Now if we would be continuing, we can, um, we can name this settings, so it's actually a settings thing now. Just customize it the way you want, I okay, want it like this. Yeah, sh should be good enough. You can click that away, and then on frame, we can we need to position it in the middle. So anchor point is 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. So it's going to be a bit offset. Don't worry. Position is 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. It should be directly in the middle. Then I'm going to make it 500 by 300. Nope, all the way around 500, 300. Boom. So it's like a labelish thingy. 425, no, maybe 4350. Good enough. I'm gonna make a text label. Instead of that, we're gonna do 1, 0. So it's always gonna be the full size, as you can see. I'm gonna make it background transparency 1. Text scaled, settings, Gotham Black. I'm gonna name the title. And that is um, pretty much it. So, we're going to be making a few tech buttons. But first, we're going to insert a local script. We can type script.parent.activator. So, we're referring to this tech button. Dot, uh, mouse button one click. Colon connect. Function. And all we're now going to do is script.parent.frame.visible is equals to not script.parent dot frame dot visible now we can go to our frame we can untick it with visible and we're gonna test this out real quick
Now, if we click on the settings, you'll see we'll get the settings pop up. And if we click it away, it's going to click away. So that's your settings thing. Now, we can do, but first, we're going to be doing uh, text buttons. Text button, this is going to be the bloom, the blur. Well, actually, we're first going to position them. So 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. And then for position, position, sorry, 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. It's the other way around. 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 comma 0. And it should be over there. Instead of 2, I'm going to do 3. This is going to be our bloom effect. So I'm just going to put bloom in it so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Hey, why are you not working? Oh, there. We can do bloom on. We can do uh, border size pixel zero. Now we can duplicate it by saying control D and else I think it's like CMDD. I'm not a Mac user, sorry. I'm gonna do blur. I'm gonna type blur. Now instead of the th three, we're gonna put a five, so it's more down. Now we can do a blue. Uh, we're gonna duplicate the blur again, and we can do color. Correction. Over here, we can do color correction. And we can do, let's see, instead of the five, we're going to do an eight. Mm, two, oh, it's actually supposed to be a seven. So now you have this. We're going to add actually one more, which is going to be the all effects. And we're just going to do all effects. Like this, and we're gonna actually make it smaller. We're gonna make it a hundred. That was the no, not like that. Two hundred. For here, we're gonna do twenty-five. It's gonna be a bit down. Don't worry. So instead of the seven, we're gonna do eight. Nope, we're gonna do a nine. Okay. So this is going to be your settings uh, thingy. So now we're first of all gonna define every single button by saying script parent dot frame dot bloom dot mouse button one click colon connect function enter now you can copy this four times and instead of bloom we're going to do blur actually you can just copy it from here name color correction all effects and it's going to be a red probably but don't worry roblox has figured it out so what we're going to do for the all effect for i comma v in paris game dot lightning Colon, get children do. So this is going to be the all effects button. V dot enabled is equals to false. But this is not actually it because we want it. So it's going to say like probably on and off. Um. So what we can do is. Um. How about if script dot parent dot frame dot all effects dot text is equals equals to we're gonna check all effects if it's actually to all effects on then script dot parent dot frame dot all effects dot text is equals to all effects off and now we're gonna set everything off and I'll delete the end and type else if script dot parent dot frame dot all effects the text is equals equals to all effects off then so we're gonna check if it's off or on so if it's off then script dot parent dot frame dot all effects the text is equals to all effects on and we're gonna put it again but instead of false we're gonna do true so let's test that out real quick. I'm gonna set it to visible off. I'm gonna play our game. I click settings, I'm gonna click all effects, it's off now, and all of our effects are just gone. If we click it all again, all our effects are back. So I think this is pretty cool. This is only visible for you. I'm gonna test that out soon. And now over here, mm, let's see, you wanna copy all of this. Copy. Now we're going to do color correction. So you're going to paste that in. But instead of this, you're going to do color correction. 
Copy that. Paste it in. Paste it in. Paste it in. Now we're over here we're gonna do game dot lightning dot color correction dot enabled is equals to false. Just gonna set it to false. We're gonna delete three these three lines. We're gonna put it over there. True. It's the other way around. False and true. So if our color correction is on, then and we did all effects. We've got to do color correction, of course. So if script apparent color correction dot text is equals equals to on, then we're gonna set it to off and we're gonna disable the color correction. So as you will see, um, it's gonna be deleting the uh, darker tints of the game. So if we do off, you can see all of our effects are still here. If we do this, see, you can see them. But if we click uh, off, you can only see, you can see the blur and the sunlight. But if we do it on and off, you can see the sun will go away. And as you can see, if we do this, the sun will stay on the blurish effect. So that's pretty cool. And I'm actually going to set it to 85 because I get annoyed. Uh, so we're going to go in local script again. I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to put it over here. All you want to do now is copy the word blur and paste it all over here. There. So actually, I'll double check if it's blur on. Yep. And now you want to copy this again and paste it over here and change every single blur word to uh, bloom. Just like this. So this should be your script already. I'm going to click play. Let's check. Settings, blue. If you look at the sun, off. And our sun is a bit decreased. Decreased. Sorry. If you do blur off, you can see it's a little bit less blurry. You can see on my character. We can do on, off. I want color correction off. And I want the blur on. So we only have this. If we do bloom off and color correction on, this will go away. And if we do bloom on, color correction, uh, blur off, bloom, yep. Now we have this. And then if you want, if you're new to the game and you want all of the effects gone, you can just click all effects, boom. All, all of them are gone. So now I'm going to hop in a testing with two players and we're going to test this out if it's actually visible for me only. Let's hop right into that. So I'm in a testing world right now, and this is my player. You can see we're moving. If we do settings, and we do all effects off, as you can see, this player has them, but we don't. So it's only visible to us. If we do all effects on, boom, boom, boom. Like this, and then boom, 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 boom. And like this, if you want it off, then boom. Could be a bit glitchy, but as you can see, if we do this one, all effects off, we still have them. So, um... That's basically an easy way to make a settings GUI for a game to decrease graphics for low-end devices. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I have a new video. I have two videos coming up really soon. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe to this video. And if you enjoyed, do that. And um, my name is Newby, and I say peace out.